Discover the 12 most deadly special forces knives in the world in this thrilling video. From tactical designs to lethal functionalities, these knives are the ultimate tools of warfare. Stay tuned until the end to find out which knife takes the number 7 spot and why it's considered one of the deadliest. Are you ready to be amazed by the sheer power and precision of these special forces knives? Special operations forces are composed of soldiers trained to be some of the most lethal and intelligent human weapons on the planet. Certainly, a knife can mean the difference between life and death. They come in all types and sizes, but some are designed for specific tasks. Although most of the knives you will see on this list are classified as combat knives, the ultimate goal is the same, to provide an elite soldier with a secondary tool to face the multiple threats that lurk on the battlefield. Sit back and get ready to discover the 12 most legendary and lethal special forces knives. Sykes Fairburn Dagger Founded in 1941, the British Special Air Service, SAS, has demonstrated its versatility by undertaking missions in counter-terrorism, covert reconnaissance, hostage rescue, and direct action. One of their most iconic and legendary weapons in their early missions was the Sykes Fairburn Dagger, which began its service period in World War II. The idea originated from the minds of William Ewart Fairburn and Eric Anthony Sykes. This slim blade was specifically designed for surprise attacks and close combat. The double-edged blade of this dagger can easily slide between an enemy's ribs to cause severe damage. In fact, it was used to silently eliminate the enemy. It also has a well-balanced design, making it one of the best combat knives. The Sykes Fairburn dagger proved so effective that the United States even manufactured its own version for the Office of Strategic Services OSS, the intelligence agency before it became the CIA. This dagger appears in the insignia of the British Royal Marines, the 2nd Battalion of Commandos of the Belgian Army, known as Para Commandos, the Corps Commando Tropen in the Netherlands, and the 1st Australian Commando Regiment. NRF-2 Ballistic Knife A ballistic knife is a hybrid between a firearm and a knife. There are two types of ballistic knives. Those that propel their blade forward at high speed and others that have a firing mechanism and use real ammunition. We will focus on the latter. The first ballistic knives were manufactured in the Soviet Union in the mid-1970s by the company Top Match under the designation Ground 625, popularly known in the West as NRC knives. These officially entered service in the second half of the 1980s, being supplied in large numbers to special units like the group in MPT. The NRF-2 knife has a double-edged blade and is capable of firing a 7.62mm bullet. The projectile weighs 300 grams and is effective up to a distance of 18 meters. There is no precise statistic on how many people were victims of this ballistic knife, but the Russian state asserts that there were many. Currently, there are few original NRF-2 knives left, and they are considered collector's items. Kukri The Kukri is a weapon with centuries of existence, primarily associated with a lethal special force from Nepal known as the Gurkhas. The Gurkha Brigade consists of Nepalese soldiers serving in the British Army. Each year, out of approximately 25,000 applicants, only about 200 are selected. These men are forged through rigorous training and adverse conditions. The Kukri was used by the Gurkhas in the Anglo-Nepalese War, World War I, and World War II. Nepalese people handle this knife from the age of five. The unique design of the Kukri allows it to slice and chop simultaneously causing maximum damage with great speed and precision. This knife has a slight curve of about 20 degrees, although some have a more pronounced angle. It is about 3 to 10 millimeters thick, with a length of about 30 centimeters and a spine of about 5 millimeters. In many ways, it is a hybrid between a knife and an axe. The Kukri is not just any knife but a symbol of the Gurkha soldier and a cherished piece that has carved an indelible identity in these special forces. Historically, the Gurkhas never surrender. Their strategy, once out of ammunition or when they know they are lost, is to charge the enemy with their ancestral Kukris to give their last show of fierceness. Ka Bar Combat Knife The Ka Bar emerged when Marines in World War II discovered that the knives issued to them did not meet their needs. Even when they were good for combat use, they did not perform well as tools. The Ka Bar was designed to preserve the lethal elements of previous weapons while also functioning as a wire cutter, box opener, and for almost any other task the Marine needed. The 18-centimeter fixed blade is made of 1095 Crovan steel, 
with a Rockwell hardness of 56 to 58, making it tough enough for any mission. The overall length of the knife is 30 cm, with an original 12 cm leather handle. Since then, Marines have carried the Ka bar during World War II, the Korean War, the Vietnam War, and the Global War on Terrorism. The Ka bar has been synonymous with the Marine Corps and has been battle-tested countless times. Today, there are more modern versions, more compact, and made with new materials and types of steel. Emerson Karambit Joint Task Force 2 is a Canadian elite special operations force, considered one of the best special forces units. They specialize in hostage rescue, foreign internal defense, and direct action, carrying out many counter-terrorism missions. They have been commissioned to hunt snipers and have received the U.S. Presidential Unit Citation. The famous Karambit knife, originating from Southeast Asia, has a curved silhouette like a claw. The Combat Karambit by Emerson is the chosen one for Joint Task Force 2. It is made of 154 cm steel, known for its strength and ease of sharpening. The science behind the Karambit is that a quick slash to the carotid artery can cause death in less than a minute. Someone who knows how to use this weapon can tear the flesh off their attacker before they even know what has happened. The Karambit technique also focuses on attacking weak points of the human body, such as the knee and elbow muscles. Due to its curved blade, the Karambit is considered one of the most lethal close combat weapons. Ontario MK3 Knife Among all the knives used by the US Navy SEALs, the most recognizable is the Ontario MK3. This knife has been in military service for over 50 years, manufactured by the Ontario Knife Company in New York. The MK3 perfectly meets the requirements to be worthy of an elite unit and is still used today. The 15.2 cm 440A stainless steel blade with a black oxide finish is built to withstand and perform in the toughest moments. It also features a high-impact polypropylene handle for a comfortable and reliable grip, and a sheath with a brass belt loop and hanger. It is a versatile knife that can also be used as a hammer and pry bar. In addition to the SEALs, the MK3 is issued to officers of special duty units and the Hong Kong Police Counter-Terrorism Response Unit. Glauca B1 Tactical Knife The French National Gendarmerie's Intervention Group is an anti-terrorist unit established in 1974 following the Munich Massacre. They are mentally and physically equipped to handle hostage rescues, protection of government officials, and facing the greatest national threats. They have rescued over 600 hostages and are known for being one of the most effective anti-terrorist units. Their knife of choice is the Glauca B1 designed for fierce penetration against the enemy. The blade is made from the highest quality Bowler N690 steel and features a tool on the back of the handle for cutting plastic handcuffs. It also includes a glass breaker, a clip with three attachment positions, and a safety lock. The sheath has a hard abs structure over a paracord core and can be worn on the belt, thigh, or with a tactical vest. Definitely a top-notch knife that serves and was designed according to the needs of the Gigan. Cloud Cap 1. The Cloud Cap 1 knife, also known as the Gerber Mark II, was designed by retired U.S. Army Captain Holtzman. This timeless combat knife was based on the Mainz Gladius model, a famous ancient Roman sword. It first saw action in the Vietnam War and was used by many soldiers, including special forces such as the Military Assistance Command, Vietnam, Studies and Observations Group, MACV SOG. It is considered the second most famous knife in history, only behind the Ka bar. The double-edged 420HC blade coated with black oxide and the die-cast aluminum handle are still sold by Gerber today, but as a survival knife and not a combat knife, as it was once deemed too savage and lethal by some authorities. This knife was born from unparalleled attention to the survival and combat needs for which it was designed. The Vietnam era may have faded into history, but the ripple effect of its influence is still felt in the iconic design of the Mark II. SOG SEAL 2000 In the year 2000, the US government conducted one of the most extensive and demanding programs to find an ideal knife for the Navy SEALs. The SOG SEAL 2000 won over 13 other knives to earn the prestigious title of being supplied to the SEALs. After rigorous testing, which included tip break resistance, blade break resistance, edge retention, handle twist, two weeks in salt water, resistance to gasoline and acetylene torch, hammering, penetration, and cutting of six different types of rope and nylon line, 
the SOG Sealed 2000 was chosen. It has a partially serrated 17.7 cm blade, coated with special materials for low reflectivity and high corrosion resistance. It has a Zytel handle, a complex polymer used for high abrasion and impact-resistant thermoplastic polyamide formulations. Later, new versions of the SOG Sealed 2000 were released, such as the Team Elite knife, built with OUS-8 steel and a glass-reinforced nylon handle. It also features a coating to improve durability and corrosion resistance. Arad Pila At first glance, the Arad Pila looks like a weapon straight out of a Rambo movie, but this knife is definitely a weapon of war, used by the Israeli counter-terrorism unit Yamam, formed after the Malo massacre in 1974. Yamam specializes in hostage rescue operations and high-risk missions. The Arad Pila is an extreme-use tactical combat knife, highly engineered and intelligently developed, made with superior technical precision and ultra-modern materials, with the toughest and strongest penetration point possible. The blade is made of high vanadium and niobium stainless steel and features a firm fiberglass handle. Arad is the Hebrew word for lion, and the lion is the symbol of the tribe of Judah and Jerusalem. The knife was made for both day and night operations, designed and manufactured according to the feedback of the Yamam Special Operations Unit, covering all their needs in risky missions. Yarborough Knife the U.S. Army Special Forces, also known as the Green Berets, undergo grueling training and have a reputation for being extremely tough. Each graduate receives the Yarborough knife, known to them as the Yarborough. This knife, designed by Chris Reed, has a tapered dorsal profile blade with 55 to 57 HRC, Rockwell hardness, and a micarta handle. Since 1967, the Green Berets have carried the Yarborough, named after Lieutenant General William Yarborough, known as the father of modern special forces. Each knife has its own serial number and is registered in an official book maintained by the U.S. Army Special Operations Command. The honor of receiving the Yarborough knife is almost equivalent to wearing the green beret. Kizil Yar Pupiter. In the Russian Federation, the needs of special operators are met with high-quality knives, especially those made by Kizil Yar in Dagestan. Kizil Yar knives are produced to a very high standard, intended to last the entire operational life of the user and then be passed down to a descendant. A great admirer of Kizilyar knives is Vladimir Putin, who has been photographed carrying them on his fishing and hunting trips. Among all the models from this company, special operators prefer the Pupiter 3 model. This knife has a 16.5 cm blade, almost a spear point, ideal for penetrating an enemy with heavy clothing or a light bulletproof vest. It has no crossguard, and the handle is made of rubber-reinforced polymer. The grip is designed for various holds, including the reverse grip favored by some Sistema techniques, the self-defense system used by special forces. That's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this information. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos and upcoming surprises on this channel. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram, where there's interesting content every day.